this is less than 141. And uh, this is the picture we've got today. Is it? It's a winter scene. And uh, you may recognise the sketch because I've, I've sketched out a, another one similar to one we did about two, two paintings ago, two or three paintings ago. It was an autumn scene, we had trees in the distance, an autumny picture like this. But now the leaves have all gone and, it's, and the snow's turned up. So I thought, well, we, we, someone said to me, uh, one of the, the, the people that ring me in and, and not ring me and uh, email me and that said, why don't you do it as a winter scene that it looked nice? So I thought, well, we'll have a try and see how it goes. So there's, there's the sketch. Uh, I've, I've, I've put a bit of masking fluid on, on some of the branches and that to depict the snow around the base. And then let, let, let's get cracking. The colours are my usual colours, the raw sienna, the ultramarine, the ultramarine and burnt umber, and the weak mix of elders and crimson. So you know exactly what they are if you've been doing it a while. So, so let, let's take it from there and see how we go. I think we'll have, uh, we'll have a nice day for, day for today, shall we? And see how we go. And uh, I think we'll have the sun today coming from the ooh, from the right. See how we go. Right. So it's a nice day. A bit of sunshine in the in the sky. Everyone's having a lovely day. Rossi Henry in there. A bit of good sunshine. And want some uh, blue sky in there, don't we? Of, it gets wintry, so we get a touch of a, a, a littering around that, around that, that base, around here. Number twenty brush I'm using this, by the way, ideal for blocking in like this. Soften that link into there. Don't want to too pronounce that that change. And I think I go for all the the old snow cloud that's that's lurking. They do lurk, you know. You can't stop these snow clouds lurking. Let's just wash that brush out. Dry it and, and link some of this together. Pull it off the tree. There'll be the lights from the right today. So any, any shadows we're going to get or on the sides of the clouds are going to be on the left hand side. Pop them in. Pinch a bit of that blue there. Use it to, to, to give you shadow cloud. Not 
I think well that's where I'm going to try and put some some distance in there, some uh, a bit of depth. I'll use that that's burn timber and, and ultramarine, and I'll put a touch of the alizarin into it. test paper so uh, I'm using this number 20 brush so that, that might, might be helpful to, to, to give some depth Change size brushes now. It's this number twenty is just a bit, uh, a bit unwieldy for, for doing sort of detailed work like this. Let's see. I'm going to put some, some more colour into that there, that background. Put some in the, in the depth into here like this. I love it when it's wet into wet like this. It's, you get all sorts of lovely, interesting colours and patterns. experimenting put a bit more depth around there like that I'll leave that gap there for the, for the road to go through, okay? Scratch a few. Right, I might be able to scratch a few. A few branches out of there. It's a bit of a craft knife. That'll do, don't overdo it. And then you can put on on the top of that, just, just a suggestion of a foliage on the top. That'll do stop fiddling. Right, it's dry now, so let's, let's see what we can do with those background trees now. We'll work our way forward as usual. So we had a little tree down here somewhere, so I think we'll just pop that one in. I don't think it, it, it there wasn't much to this tree, it's just a
brush is a bit too big for that so let's try a, a rigger on that It's a background one, of course, then. I was going to put Hivey up it, but I think uh, I'll have a change this time. We'll go up to some of the old trees. Don't make it too same as the last one, do we? And then we can look at our next tree. See how we go with that one. This was a double tree if I remember rightly. It could start down here anyway. trunk coming up here as well it was quite a beast really did a bit of a squiggle on it a bit broader there some branches coming up here lovely winter it, it, it really is it might be a bit cold I know but uh, it's, it's lovely to uh, to get involved expressing yourself with it it's It's the skeleton of the tree and, it's, and it's, it, it shows itself as a beautiful structure. Quite a nice tree this one. I'm still using that ultramarine and uh, and burnt timber just as a mix. For another this big tree, I think I might get rid of some of this white that's down here. It's uh, it's I, know I don't like white it's on its own, so we'll we'll, we'll see what we've got. I'll pick a number 10 brush up and let's see if we get some some colours in this. I've got I've got burnt burnt over there which is a, a darkish mocky brown. A touch of that on there there. A touch of I think I've put some burnt sienna as well. Knocking it knocking that about. Burnt sienna. And of course we've got our our raw sienna as well. Let's see, see what we can enter into this and see what see what, what, what we can what we can get. Mm -hmm. 
nice bit of being a touch of warmth into it now it's, it's taking the coldness off it Don't forget it's covered in snow, so don't go mad. So just a bit of a bit of dark brown in there as well. It's all, it's all going towards your picture to, to, to well, it, it, it puts a bit of warmth into it and it brings it towards you as well. So we're doing two jobs. But remember, there's a little bit of snow, so we're not going to put it all in this stuff. It's just some, to give it some stuff sticking out of the snow. Going to the distance there. The twiddle down there. This is the burnt umber and French ultramarine. That gives some darks on the on the base of there. Right, before I do anything else, I'll, I'll put this, this tree in on just its base colour before I take the uh, masking fluid off. And I'm going to paint it uh, raw sienna to start with, a bit of sunshine colour on it. Let's give it, a, give it a whirl, shall we? Quite a big tree. And the light today is from the right, isn't it? So we want the that that side of the tree wants to be darker, doesn't it? So we've got to put some dark in there, or it'll look Especially when it's still wet, because it'll look, look better then, I think, if we get some dark down this side of the tree. Definitely going to be in, in, in shade there with the sun coming from the right, isn't it? Right, I'll, I'll 
prop, probably from the pink. I'll use some of that to uh, raw sienna and at least I can put some little branches in on there as well. Is it that, that type of tree? See if I can just introduce one or two bits in on this. Be careful not putting my head in the way, hopefully. But I've been doing, doing that, putting my head in the way, and it's the last thing you want to see in my head. There we get that. Put a few darks into there. I think the next thing we've got to do is, is, is take off this some of this masking fluid. And I've got this my trusty rubber here, which is which is a helps me tremendously. I put some of that on to depict a bit of snow on the on some of these branches. I'll edit this out, this this all this rubbing uh, folks. I'll put some shadows on the where the the trunks are, the, the branches I should say. And just the snow will have a shadow on it, won't it? It it'll have a, a sort of a the side of it will be Will be shaded. There'll be snow on the underside of it like that. Just that little tiny little brush. We'll get a suggestion of snow on the, the underside of these branches. It's not all white. It uh, it gets catches the light and catches the shade, of course. So we get a bit of both. Not as much as that. Shadow down here. It's the longest job, this because to it, it's not just one one piece of branch that uh, that gets in shade. It, it all gets a shade, doesn't it? Of course, the more more interesting you make it, the more shadowing shadowing we've got to do as well. So it's your own fault. You blame me if you like. I don't mind. That's going up there, that's a bit soft off that. Some snow up there. So up there, some snow on this one. The underside of that snow. And of course you'll get, you'll get sort of this this sort of thing. So where where a, a branch is coming out towards you, it, you, you cast a shadow on the actual trunk itself. Mm. Like there's one here, look, that, and that'll cast a shadow across there. Don't miss that. There's one just here which casts a shadow just here, and that one will cast a shadow as well. 
this one here. This one's sticking out the front, so that one will cast a shadow as well. And we get a little twiggy bit like sort of sticking up it. This is your important tree. You spend a lot of time on it, so give give it some give it some time. So we can let that one go, I think, now. Once two branches going backwards, so they'll not be strong, strong in tone, they'll go away from you. Right, you got a similar treatment to the, the other trees in this, 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 this painting. Right, we've got a gap for the path. And now we can leave those trees alone. I, I, I was going to put little twiggy bits on top, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'll think about it as I'm, as I'm going along. Now we've got some uh, sunshine on this picture, so we're going to get some sunshine on this snow, aren't we? So we're going to get this uh, this lovely sunshine colour. On this snow. Because the sun's coming across here, isn't it? So you're going to get some Some sunshine here. Some across here. Some down the road. Of course, you get shadow as well, won't you? So that's that's important to get a bit of bit of pale pale shadow into this as well and don't forget we'll, we'll, there's a little bit of pink in that sky so I think if we can try and find a little bit of pink that would be nice a delicate pink coming from that side there. But the blue wants to be evident at this, so the sun's coming from this side, so we've got to. Make sure we get some blue onto this. And of course, if you put if you put twigs in. Be careful because they they cast a shadow as well, don't they? So let, let's let's see what we we do now. But I'll put one or two twigs in just to show you what I mean. 
get a dart, whatever, on the, on the pallet, you know. And uh, that's going to link the foreground with the path and all that, isn't it? Bit on this side here. It's not a lawn, this is it's it's rough ground. Right, let's So wherever this this uh, these things are, in the, there's an indentation in the snow, and you'll probably get a, a piece of this coming across like that. You see, from from where the light's coming from, the source light source. You might get a touch of this across the across the path as well. Depends on what you do. Do we need a figure? I wonder. Do we need a figure? I know something that that it needs that I haven't put in yet. That this this large tree here is going to cast a shadow across the across the pathway, isn't it? And it's it, the lights. As I say, it's coming from here, and this will cast a, a definite shadow. Here. Follow the contour, if you will. Quite a big tree, so don't, don't, be, sk don't be skimpy with the shadow. Put a twiggy bit off it. The others were facing the other way, so that they'll not give much shadow at all there. You'll not see anything, I don't think. As I said, I don't know whether to put twiggy bits on or not. It's, I'm in two minds. I'll try some on one of these, these, these background trees, see what happens. It might be pear, go pear shape, I don't know, but we'll, we'll, we'll have a try and see what, just as, as a set experiment, shall we? experiment just a nothing much just pinch a bit of stuff what's on the what's on the palette whatever it is uh, perhaps this one here
I don't know whether whether you, you, you like the twiggy bits or not. It's it's, it's there's one thing for certain I can't take them off. <laughs> so so we stuck with them. But if you like them or not, so oh, go on. Let's go. Let's go do a bit more, shall we? Let's. As I say, when you're doing yours, when you're doing your painting, if you get to this stage and you think it's, it looks all right with twigs, then put them on. But if you don't like it, keep off it. Just, just leave it and, and accept what you've got. It's, uh, it, it can work for you. Sometimes it, can't, it works against you. Just depends what you like. Well, yeah, they like it or don't like it. I think I'll, I'll leave this tree and, and, and just leave it to the background there as an experiment. It's, uh, do we need a figure? I suppose we can put one in just to sort of uh, put a, a dash of colour in, shall we? Let's see, now where do we put him? Uh, we can put him here. About here. That's right. Just or, or just about here, be, beyond the shadow. I said, "Come on, Fred. Give us that bit of colour we need." I need him to stand out, don't I? Oh, there we go. He's heading down the road because the pub is down there. Just around that corner. Put some dark gear on. gym. Of course, <laughs> when you start putting figures in, of course, don't forget he hasn't been dropped in by a helicopter. He's got to have some footprints, hasn't he? So thankfully, he's going, he's going that way. So we'll get some footprints coming down, down this way for him. As he comes down the road. Well done, Fred. I don't, I've lost his head somehow. So I'm going to open him up. But I'm going to bring my white hat on. Let's see if I can do that. I might, uh, I might bring his head back to back to life then. It might work. Better drag it first though. There's Fred. He's got a white white head. Off he goes, he's got a, a, a white sort of uh, balaclava on against the cold. Look in the sky, see any, any dodgy bits for I put a bird in, that looks a bit dodgy there. We'll put one in there, can't we? Nice day for the bird.
I'll just slot it down a bit, folks, see what, see what we've got. And uh, see, see, see if you're happy with it or see, see if it'll do. Leave the bird in. So that that today, folks, is our, uh, our, our autumn scene, which we've turned into a snow scene, and uh, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed doing it. But uh, if, if if you enjoyed it, please give us a like and a, and a subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. So until then, folks, it's goodbye. Bye bye.